This is our new gecko room, and Jessica has been working her butt off to get it finished. We're so close to being finished, we only have one, two, three, four, five, and six cages, and this room is completely finished. And you guys are definitely going to want to stick around till later in the vlog, because I'm going to surprise Jessica with something awesome. Ooh, is it ice cream? But before that, Fram's Cam sent us some cool geckos. Let's check them out. Our friends over at Fram Cam sent Jessica something, which are pretty cool. Take a look at these. Unbelievable. Oh, she's so pretty. I tell you what, so obviously this is just a normal African fat tail gecko, I think. I'm not sure. It looks like a normal African fat tail. Oh, Although it's like really it. nice, right? Yeah. It's really pretty. But this is This looks like an Oreo to me. An so Oreo. we'll have to double check with them, but I think this one's an Oreo. That is beautiful. So I didn't know that they were sending these guys. They're absolutely incredible. Shoot, you guys are amazing. I'm going to put a link in the description to Fram's camp. If you guys need chameleons, definitely go give them some love because they're amazing. That thing is ridiculous. Yes. Thank you so much. My hair all pretty. Obviously, we try our best here to do the most absolutely spectacular animal care that you've ever seen. We do a lot of health checks. Every day we kind of walk through, check everybody. But today we're gonna do a little bit deeper on a couple animals, just make sure everybody's doing okay, make sure they don't have any problems, make sure that I don't get bit. <laughs> Relax, you guys are fine. A-okay. I don't wanna hurt you, you shouldn't wanna hurt me. I'm just doing a little checkup right now. Wow, cuticles, cuticles, cuticles. So their nails are growing great, so they're getting enough calcium. We definitely saw some activity in the back of like her digging and kind of building a nest, but she honestly doesn't look big. I mean, I don't know if she's El Prego or not, but it'd be nice. And the other one looks fine, just climbed up the wall. Nails are great. I think you gotta get that one. Nails are so sharp. Look at those nails. For anybody who doesn't know. All right, looking good. Check his butt. This might be her. Oh my goodness, her nails. His nails. I don't know which one's which. They all bullshit out and they both look great. Uh, oh, look at that, look at that. It's going into my skin. That feels great. Hi, buddy. Hello. Yeah, I think these guys are doing great. I've got Gamora here. She didn't actually work out with the other male we tried to pair her with, so I'm gonna pair her with a brand new male, Reptar from the Reptarium, in a brand new cage. So hopefully she'll be a little bit more receptive this time. That cage looks incredible. This is Reptar. He's never been introduced to a female. All right, up next we're gonna do Vlad the Legless Lizard. Everybody knows he can be a little crazy sometimes. Oh god, he's already so excited and I don't even have food. Relax, buddy, relax. Oh, Legless Lizard, I don't even know the checklist to run through. Like legs, gone. Eyes, they closed. Death roll, still able. <sighs> he's so weird. Come here, come here, stop. That's the Vlad that I know and we're used to. Ears, still got him, but tight. This <laughs> looks weird. Hockey. I don't even know. He's so weird. He just moves. He doesn't stop. But he's a good boy. So this is the Oreo fat tail gecko right here. And this is a leopard gecko. You can see there's a lot of similarities between the two, right? Basically, these guys are just from a different region. They're coming from Pakistan and India, where these guys are from West Africa. And when it comes to setting up and breeding, they're a little bit different as well. With leopard geckos, you can put three or four females in an enclosure, no problem, and then cycle a male through and breed them that way. Whereas with the fat tail geckos typically you want to be kept alone at the most you might want two females in a cage because they will fight a little bit so it's important to keep them really either separate or to two females maximum and then when you cycle the male through you have to be a little careful because they are kind of territorial leopard geckos are certainly way easier to keep and way easier to breed there's no doubt about that and that's the reason why so many people breed a lot more leopard geckos than they do fat tail geckos guys i am so excited to see this package up it should be here any minute to see jessica's excited about this it's going to be absolutely Absolutely amazing. It just freaks me out. You can do it, buddy. Like it's in the back. I don't like it when she's in the back. It's always in the back. It's not always in the like. Sure. What if she thinks it's food? This is the thing that drives me crazy. Like I can't just stick my hand under. Oh god, she moved. Give me your beauty. See, I don't like touching her underbelly. Oh god. Come here. You're okay. Everybody's okay. Stop going up the wall and come here. 
Stop touching my back. That was it. Baloney. All right, Black Beauty. I'm already sweating. I go to the. Oh, stop. Don't go, Mom. Please, that's what drives me crazy with Spider Shit. Stop blowing. I'm shaking. I need to go to the doctor's and get my own checkup for mental. Um, Beauty. She's got eight legs. She's got some hair on her butt. Oh, stop moving. Please. Don't move. Oh, don't try to climb up that head. Come on. Just sit still. Sit still. She's got her teeth. Got her eyes. I think that's it. <laughs> I'm going home. Stop touching my patch. Not funny. Get off me. So with lychees, they're kind of picky about who they actually want to mate with and actually like. When you find a good pair that don't fight, you usually want to keep them together. They bond pretty much. If you've got a good bond in pair, you don't want to take them apart. And the package just arrived. Let's show Jessica. I swear, it better be ice cream. Jessica's been working so hard at the new Caledonia room doing cages like crazy. So guess what? We actually got her something. What's going on? Wow, it just doesn't work. So we actually got her something for all her hard work. My friend John over at Johnny Racks, I'm gonna put a link in the description, actually sent us these, and I am excited about it. I don't know a whole lot about these, but I think you will. Hang on, let me throw this first because oh. I always... Yeah, yeah. I never throw the geckos. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're much bigger Ooh, than I expected. Baby. So, my buddy John. Yep, he sent... Three fast new Annas. So these are new Annas. Say that three times off. too fast. You'd get banned from YouTube. You'd get demonetized. So I might be incorrect, but Frank Fast was one of the first people to go collect them from New Caledonia. Oh, family. right. Yeah. He actually, John actually told me that these are second generation from the wild. That's amazing. Second generation from the wild. That's so so cool. these are a smaller uh, locality, though, right? Yep. And uh, tell, do you know anything else about them? Um, I don't know too much about them. I know that uh, sometimes they'll be a little bit more like uh, spazzy and like. Oh. Oh, uh, a little flighty? Yeah, a little flighty. Oh my gosh. Well, this, but that, they, they seem like they're being pretty good oh right now, though. And this is the girl here. Boom. And that is the boy there. So, oh. again, he said he was going to send us a couple little ones. I thought he was sending babies. I'm going to be totally these honest with you. Size. So, yeah. these are nice size. Nice and uh, it's so awesome. So, John, thank you so much for this. These will go great in the New Caledonia room. And now we have another locality of lychees. Uh, there you go. So awesome. Yeah. <laughs> what do they call these seeds again? Oh, yeah. Basically, we got our little gastrofol. Wait, what is it again? One more time. Gastrofolus for. Is that right? Yeah, oh, it's nice. Okay. Yeah, I don't speak French. Um, anywho, you guys know these guys from past videos hanging on our fingers or whatever. You know, so much. This dude is already in there with his mouth wide open and he hasn't even been touched yet. Um, you gotta check, gotta get a dental check. Oh, he's gonna bite that guy. Oh, he didn't. Nice. This is blowing. Look at him. He's wagging his tail. He's happy to see me. Whoa! Oh, crap. This is already not going to play. Oh, he's gonna bite my tongue. <laughs> I shouldn't have grabbed him like this. <laughs> I'm a prefer. Oh, he's just <laughs> all over me. Gastrofolus persina. Cute, woo -hoo. Cute little buggers. Fast. He pooped on me. Let's check this guy out. Come here, little he's bugger. Like game says, grab these guys. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. They're just so quick. Oh, no. That <laughs> one. Oh, <laughs> so hard to bite me. Persina. I don't even know, I don't even know what else to say about these stupid things. They look good. Pretty good man. Bone thugs and Harvey, bro. Like, uh, thugs like likes the high one. God, that one pooped all over me too. Um, like I keep mentioning, it's amazing to have the Kalubrids out of brumation and to start seeing these guys again. Tomorrow we do the first feeding. This, of course, is a female palmetto corn steak that produced a couple beautiful clutches for us last year. I mean, what an absolutely stunning animal. So many corn snakes to breed. You guys know that I love the Abbott's Okatee corn snakes, which are just a locality corn snake that has amazing black bordering around. Just a really most beautiful, classic corn snake. And it's so cool to just kind of see all these animals again after three months of a being in brumation because you know you almost forget about how beautiful some of these animals are look at this black and white cow king i've said this and i keep saying it black and white cow kings have been one of the most underrated snakes in a long time and i know that the popularity of these guys is just starting to explode toothless obviously is super food motivated as you can see he's already right here and as you can see he is already ready to run down this dumb come on right here right everybody already ready to run down his little tree come on come on come on whoop, 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 whoop. come on oh look all right so he's a little nervous right now and this is actually a really cool thing that I wanted to show everybody. We've got actually a lot of really cool fun things planned and uh, one of those things actually involves him and climbing and doing a lot of other cool stuff. Really excited to actually show you guys this potentially. There you go. Good job bud. So anyways, I really wanted to tell you guys that this guy right here is ready to ready to rock and roll and he's so much fun to actually play with. But when, when we actually do this next thing, I'm telling you, I just don't want to tell you too much. It's, it's a secret, but it's going to be so much fun. Everybody's going to be involved. I mean, I can't even wait, man. This is going to be cool. 
Let's go. Let's go. All the way down. All the way down. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All the way down. Let's go the tail. Here, here, here. There you go. Good job, buddy. <laughs> Look, he's like King Kong. Full Shrek here. This is a different way I'm introducing them this time with Big Bertha and male in this cage here. I let the male live in here for a little bit first and then I introduce Big Bertha. But for this one, we're just gonna try and introduce them both to a new cage. Come here, buddy. So this guy's a Bros Island. They're one of the larger like island species of uh, geckos. And then our female here is another, she's an island mix actually, uh, but she's a Pine Island crossed with a new Ami. Or new Anna, I can't remember which off the top of my head. Do you hear him squeak? Now, Shrek is the one we had him with Big Bertha previously. They never produced anything, but hopefully these two maybe will get along and produce something for us. Demora, she's a gross island female. She's a little bit of a smaller female, but she's probably about four years old, so she should be ready to go. Not sure where the male is sitting in here. Let's see. I'm gonna set her in here. Hope for the best. <laughs> I hope for the best, yeah. I hear her running around. There's a man in here. Again, so many amazing snakes here. I mean, look at this. The scale is Texas rat snake. Oh my gosh, that thing is on fire. And you know, a lot of these animals have been bred for the last several years, you know, like the pink on new cystic Texas rat. You know, this is about six or seven years old, so she's given us plenty of babies, which is always amazing. But then we have a bunch of new stuff up size this year. That'll be the first time we're breeding them, and that's pretty cool. Look at this tangerine albino Honduran milk snake. This is the first year that this female is big enough to breed, so hopefully she'll have some babies and I tell you what that is gonna be absolutely incredible look at that monkey right there that thing is ridiculous and I'm excited about this as well these are what they call Japanese rat snakes or Kunis or island rat snakes and we're actually breeding this to an albino this is a head albino now we used to breed these years ago but this is the first year in probably seven or eight years that we actually have adults up to size so we might be able to produce some Kunisers and some albino Kunisers it's gonna be amazing I tell you what I can't wait to start feeding I can't wait to start getting the process going and getting males in with females. Before you know it, we're gonna have eggs and then babies. It's pretty crazy to think that we've been here for three years and we didn't have a sign saying the Reptarium out front. Don't get me wrong, we have the sign on the building, but this pole sign was actually old businesses that used to be in this building. So it's really cool to finally have the Reptarium sign up so that when people are driving by, they can see it from down the street. Guys, we're finally not the Hayes Tobacco Shop anymore. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button it would mean a lot to me. Also, hit that like button while you're down there. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you in the next one. Go, 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 go,